Hey guys, Brian from PFC here with another drill for all you ARFCOM users that are out there. This one is called Tape and Tourniquet. Primary focus on this one, as always, is going to be marksmanship, but we're also going to incorporate some trauma care into this one as well. Things that you'll need. You're going to need a target of your choosing. can be paper, steel, reactive, non-reactive. You're going to need a minimum of six rounds. Six rounds is the ideal way we like to run each iteration of the scenario. This can be done with handgun, long gun, shotgun, subgun, whatever, uh, whatever it is you particularly like, revolver even. Uh, you're also going to need a tourniquet, and that tourniquet should be secured on your person in a position that you can access, and you can access it bilateral. You can access it with either hand. Uh, the iterations that you see on video right here, we'll be running those both with a handgun in sort of a plain clothes configuration, and then uh, also in kind of that emergency response uh, configuration of equipment where we've taken a plate carrier and we've thrown it over our head. Uh, in those particular iterations that we'll show, you'll see that that tourniquet is mounted on the front of that plate carrier actually in our our uh, PFC uh, tourniquet trifold is manufactured for us by uh, Spectre Gear. Give it a try. I think you guys will find that interesting. But nonetheless, the way the actual drill is run, it's a six-round engagement that is broken into three distinctive pairs. The first pair of rounds is fired where the shooter is going to take and present a, a minimal target around the left, right side of the barricade, high, low, whatever it may be, and engage with two rounds on that target to their front. They're then going to go into conducting an after-action drill, and while they're doing that after-action drill, uh, scanning their surroundings, checking the operational status of their weapon system, a partner of theirs is going to have a piece of duct tape, and they're going to come up and place that duct tape on either the left arm, right arm, left leg, or right leg, onto one of the extremities, indicating that that extremity has become injured. We all know that the best medicine on the battlefield is fire superiority, actually winning the fight. So before we take and treat the wound, we've got to take and throw two more rounds accurately onto the threat. If that piece of tape has been placed onto an arm, that respective arm is out of play. It's not usable anymore. If that piece of tape has been placed onto one of the legs, then the shooter is going to be knocked to the ground and they're going to have to take and fire from a unique, uh, unique position of their choosing around the barricade. Once that second pair of rounds has been fired, shooters shooter is immediately going to take and access that tourniquet and get it as high on the limb as they can to maximize the effect against the blood vessel and the single bone in the upper portion of the extremity. Lock it down, don't simulate, actually put it on to tension. Once they're done putting that tourniquet in place, they're going to reacquire that weapon and engage that target again with a third pair of rounds, again using only the limbs that are still in play. A couple things to think of here. Uh, with the long gun, we may be slung, we may not be slung. If we're slung, we can let the weapon hang on a sling, make sure we're utilizing the mechanical safety so we don't inadvertently have a negligent discharge. Uh, if we're not slung, we may choose to place that weapon system between the knees, we may put it on the ground. Uh, with the handgun, something to think about. Um, while we're in the process of applying that tourniquet, where do we want to put that handgun? Do we want to take and reholster it? Uh, I would say that if you have a limb down, a, uh, an arm, holstering it might be a valid idea. If I'm on the ground because I've got a leg that's down, trying to put it back into a holster may cause me, if I roll onto that same side hip, that dominant side hip, to actually trap the weapon between the ground and the hip. So in this case, just taking that weapon system and putting it on the ground within reach might be the best medicine. If someone was to rush you or try to get around the barricade from either side, it would be in a position that you could take and you could access it. So what we're looking for is the ability to take and deploy that tourniquet and get it on to its proper tension within 30 seconds of incurring that, uh, that wound. That's kind of the standard that we're after. And as always, this is a marksmanship drill. Give it a try. I think you guys will have a lot of fun with it. Stay safe.